part two of this video but before i start i want to thank whoever recorded the police attacking me at the atl greyhound station um they they had enough sense to record it and put it on my camera phone and i didn't even know they did it. i just found it right now so i want to say thank you but let's continue on with the lesson all right so we got the i left top right here first and the last um it's not translated in genesis 1 1 as you see right here you got the Aleph Tav, you know what I mean? That's the first and the last. Revelations chapter 2, verse 8. Christ is the first and the last that resurrected from the dead. He is the Aleph and he is the Tav. That Aleph is the first letter in Hebrew. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalit. Uh, uh, in the in first letter in the Hebrew alphabet. So Psalms 119. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, Hey. The Greeks copy the Hebrews. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. So from the first letter to the last letter. I left bet gimel dale hey vav zan chet tet yu kaf lamet mem nu samik ayen pe sadi kuf reshin tav. So the Aleph tav, the first and the last. That's Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he created the heavens. Then right here at the word uh, vet, that vav is a connector letter. Is that really? That's what's really being translated as in. So you see the, another Aleph tav, which is Christ, who created the heavens and the earth. All right, so that's in Genesis 1 1 in Hebrew. All right, now Christ's name, this one I put Yeshua, but you can do Yahusha also. In modern Hebrew, it has seven lights in it, and we got the Feast of Dedications coming up where they have one day's worth of oil and it lasts seven days to sanctify the temple. But Christ said he is the light of the world, like it says. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of light. John chapter 8, verse 12. All right, so his name has seven lights, and it matches up with the Mornor. Do not keep that Christmas, cuz, for real. Uh, John chapter 10, verse 22, Feast of Dedication, Feast of Lights. Uh, Jeremiah 10, 1 to 5, no Christmas trees. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't... You don't. You want to understand why I go so hard for this? Look at the video before this that um, I uploaded just a moment ago. I get attacked by police. I get taser. I get all of that. You know what I'm saying? But the Most High don't want to keep me out and protect me. All right. All right. Now you see it says God's mighty air. All right. Like I said, the Aleph. This says Amen in modern Hebrew. So the Aleph is solid. Then that marking right there is the A. This is the Mem. So M multiple dots think eggs like e eggs e multiple dots one dot is i so multiple dots e so a m e and then you have a new n so amen which is another name for christ revelation chapter 3 verse 14 and read it as a picture our left is the oxen mem is water also can mean mighty and new is the sea god's mighty air all right then you got david all right Dalit, Vav, Dalit in Hebrew, okay? So, you got Dalit, Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, four. Then you have the Vav, or the Wa, or the Ua. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, He, Vav, six. And then you have a Dalit again. It's, so, four plus six plus four equals 14. That's why the line of David in Matthew chapter uh, one, verse 17 is broken up. 14 14 14 so 14 plus 14 plus 14 is 42 and look at numbers chapter 33 the children of israel had 42 stops before they made it to the promised land when they was leaving egypt just like there's 42 generations from abraham to the promise of christ it all matches up all right and read revelations 22 verse 16 um, Isaiah chapter 9, 6 through 7, Psalm 69, verse 8 through 9, and John chapter 2, verse 13 through 17. All right. Then you got the Hebrew alphabet right there to go along with the brochure. All right. So we got the modern script, the ancient script. As you can see in the ancient script, you can see that it looks more like an ox head. Feel me? Ox head upside down. Now it's the A. In English, you see what I'm saying? Ox head, Hebrew, English. All right. The Aleph, the first letter in Hebrew. All right. Then, got some scriptures for some salvation. All right. Got uh, John chapter 5, verse 19 through 47. 
Then you got Genesis chapter 3 verse 14 through 15 that matches up with Galatians chapter 3 verse 15 through 18 because Christ is the seed. That seeded Eve is the promise of Christ to come. By faith it was given to Abraham and 430 years later with Moses when the law came down cannot uh, disannul the promise of before. Because faith, you know, faith does not come by the law, faith comes by Christ. So you gotta believe by Christ, you know what I'm saying? Without faith and trying to keep the law, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't, it just, it just don't work, <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, and then you got Genesis 49, 22 through 26, and First Chronicles chapter five, verse one through two. Note the shepherd, the stone of Israel, right? Then Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 13 through 17, and Exodus chapter three. Joseph got the blessing of him that dwelt at the bush, all right? Take note of that. Then Deuteronomy 33, verse 2, Jude chapter 1, verse 14 through 25, all right? So you see Deuteronomy 33, verse 2, it, it speaks on Christ coming with his 10,000 saints, just like you see in Jude chapter 1, verse 14 through 25, like Christ said, Moses spoke of him, all right? So just trying to bring it out, all right? Deuteronomy 30, verse 11 through 14, matches up with Romans chapter 10 verse 6 through 9 but I put Romans chapter 6 through 16 because that's a very key scripture into someone just beginning if you're just beginning and you want a scripture to just start out with Romans chapter 10 verse 6 through 9 but that also matches up with Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 11 to 14 a lot of people don't realize Paul be speaking on the Old Testament and it's and, and uh, giving revelations and getting people to understand the Old Testament. All right, Isaiah 53 verse 1. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? All right. Deuteronomy 33 verse 26 to 27. And then um, Isaiah 52 verse 10. All right, the arm of the Most High is Christ. Jesus Christ, Yahushua Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Yeshua, Issa, Isha, Ishu, uh, Yiz.